Hey guys, good morning. I am pretty tired today because I had really bad dreams last night. Oh gosh, it was like one of those dreams. It was a reoccurring dream that it uh, was two parts. It just would not go away. It was one of those where you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, okay, breathe, get out of it. Don't fall back asleep so you can get out of it. And then you fall back asleep and your body goes right into it. I hate those kind of dreams and that's how last night was. And it was a scary like dream that you don't want to become a reality type of thing. So it was, it was a rough night. But we're gonna try and power through. I wanted to show you guys something that I got at Target the other day. I have a waffle maker, a pink one. I honestly, I think maybe we got it like for our wedding or something. I've had it for a really long time. Actually, let me show you because I don't even know where it's from or I think it's George Foreman. Yeah. Yeah, George Foreman. It looks like this. It's old. <laughs> I don't even know. Do you remember where we got this? The uh, waffle the maker? Wedding. The wedding? Yes. Okay. I knew it was old. Anyway, we've been married for, oh my gosh, nine years this year. So that's how old this thing is. So I don't even know if it's still made or anything. I want to say we registered for it at like Target or Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that. Anyway, it's just a waffle maker. Huh? Oh, yeah, From Target? I know I see it so anyway this is what it looks like in the inside it does two waffles at a time and it's cool never have had a problem with it it's very simple you plug it in it lights up when it's ready you leave your waffles in there for however long and crispy you want them pretty easy well I've seen these little dash cookers they're so cute I've seen people have all kinds of you okay? All kinds of um, little patterns and stuff in them. They're $10. They're super cute. Like, this is literally the size of my hand. $10. And they have them everywhere. Amazon sells them. I got this one from Target. So, it's orange, right? What do you think is in the inside? A pumpkin! <laughs> I think it's so cute. So, it actually has... The, this makes... See it? Ooh, hold on. See the pumpkin? Oh. It's cute, right? This makes round waffles. The um, one that I have makes square waffles. I think waffles are waffles, no matter what. I had waffles on my grocery list yesterday and it just wasn't in the budget since I bought those canned goods and the charcoal. So it wasn't in my pantry challenge budget. I probably will buy some eventually, but I got this for $10 over the weekend and I really want to make some homemade waffles and I think it's gonna be pretty easy But isn't the pumpkin so freaking cute so you can actually just make them on Like one side pumpkin and just close it if you put enough batter in the other side regular waffle print or you can do Both sides pumpkin. I think it's so Stinking cute and it's so tiny you literally aren't going to miss Anything and you know what honestly, I think they sell these where you can have different plates in them. This one I don't think is removable. If I'm, yeah, I don't, it's not removable, but they do sell little dash makers where you can have like a flat plate, a, a different like two-sided plate. You can have a waffle maker, omelet maker, stuff like that. So I think these things are cute little gadgets and I've always wanted to get one, I just never have actually gotten one so the pumpkin one was my perfect excuse they also have skeleton at target we have a break in between zooms we're gonna do lunch when we get back but <laughs> she's coming we're at the park to get some exercise i'm walking the track with everly and the rest is playing basketball with the girls we're the only ones here it's nice so i'm gonna try and get in at least a mile if not more while we're here in between zooms gotta get it done we are back it is so hot I actually jogged two laps today which is awesome last time we were there I only did one and I felt like I was dying so it was 30 minutes and I went 1.43 miles That's good and they got a lot of exercise in so now we are going to do lunch for them before another zoom 
Hi. <laughs> There's something so hilarious about watching babies eat. She had some taco meat, ground taco meat, black beans, and corn. And she loved it. <laughs> Is it so good? I had this a super cute Hello Kitty plate. It's silicone, so it sticks to this, but when, when it doesn't have food completely covering it, she can pick it up because it doesn't stick very well to this. It sticks better to here and it would have stuck it would have stuck really well to the glass table but it is so adorable so easy to clean i actually saw i can't remember if it was aaron williams or tara Hend henderson you want it back <laughs> they had um a mini mouse one and i had it in my amazon cart forever and it was 16 dollars. and i just was like oh i i had it for even before i had Everly, I was like, I can't, Autumn doesn't need, I can't justify $16 on one silicone plate when Autumn doesn't even use, she uses regular dishes, you know, like, so I never did it. Then when I found out we were having another girl, I was like, okay, I'm going to get it for her when she's little. You, now you're eating from your bib. You saving some for later? Huh? <laughs> so anyway, when I went to go check out with it, it recommended the Hello Kitty ones. I know, she's fine. Well, we'll clean her up when she's done eating. And I had to get the Hello Kitty. So it's pretty pricey. $16 to me for one little plate is too expensive. But it's cute and she had to have it. Right, Mama, you're so cute. You love it. And they had a bib. So these are the Mom Cozy bibs. I got a pack of three for like 10 bucks. Very inexpensive. And they are like a thick silicone. And they work really nicely. Except she does. You have to be careful because she does have food in there. She'll go get it later. So definitely, you know, don't reuse them between meals. Because they like to get their little food particles from earlier in the day. But um, I'll have these linked under baby in my Amazon shop. I, I like them so far very easy to clean super durable And this is just so cute and they have Okay, okay, they have um, all, Of course girly things like Minnie Mouse Hello Kitty stuff like that But then they have so many other cute boy ones like Batman they had trains dinosaurs So I'll link it below if you have a little one that's learning to eat off of things. Yay Everly <laughs> if, uh, I will, I would recommend those. Let's Yay, it. good you job, like mama. You, you want a high five? Hey, <laughs> you want a high five? <laughs> your sister messing with you. Yeah, you just so anyway, I'll have those linked under baby stuff in my Amazon shop. Yay. <laughs> you gotta go slower, mama. Give her a second to eat it, okay? Okay. You like it too. You like it? You like it? Don't pull my hair. Don't pull your hair. Don't pull my hair. You like it too. You like it? You like it? Yay! Yay, Everly! <laughs> Good job, Mama. You have food in your hand. Everly. Look at daddy. Yay. <laughs> Hi guys, good afternoon. Turning off the garage light here. I don't think I vlogged today. Or maybe I have, I don't know. We're about to go for a little walk, bike, right? Today's day three, right? That we've done it in a row. Mm -hmm. The first day we did the track yesterday yeah, we walked a little over a mile today. We're just, again, kind of in between Zoom times. It's mid 80s, the sun's out though, so it's probably gonna be on the hotter side. So we're just gonna go walking. I was going to straighten my hair, but it went out the door last night. And so I was like, you know what? Might as well continue to get some exercise in. I'm really trying to move more and just be a little bit more proactive in my weight loss. Uh, we need to get in here and clean up this garage is a mess it's just big bulky things like our chairs the canopy everly's thing table chairs ladder but we need to get in here and do that but right now we're gonna go for a walk and the cool thing is is everly's going to be riding 
she see me rolling. Hey, Everly. And the three big girls are going to ride bikes. My Hannah Benny and I are going to walk. Y'all ready? Oh, I, Autumn's ready. Let's go. Go, pedal hard. Go, 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 go. Ready, go. Oh, there you go. I see you. I'm recording you. Are you in the playpen? Yeah. <laughs> Argument. Your sister is in their playpen. I hear you. <laughs> we are almost halfway through season four. And I swear, when you watch shows like this of the 100, when you watch shows, shows like this, it's like constant, never ending. I feel like that's why The Walking Dead has lasted so many seasons because it's just constant. There's like a new battle to win, a new person to fight against. I just this over and over and over and over again. Anyway, I told you guys we were going to catch up really fast. I feel like we are today. We've watched like sat here like three episodes or something. I told you guys I was going to, I did not order the Budget Moms pre-order of her little books. I, I Just because I have the, I really like full size things. I like minis too, but realistically I would never take the budget stuff with me i never have ever traveled with it it's never gone in my purse it always stays here at the house so there's really no reason why i need to have the mini and the full size sold out so i do own the pdf copy it's just an older version i think it's it may be the current version she has right now or like before this new one um so anyway i have that i'm just making it work i printed out some of the free resources so whenever you buy something from her shop i think it's just when you buy a paycheck budget by paycheck product in general she has a free resource shop where you can get a whole bunch of cash envelopes i subscribe to her newsletter so every friday she sends out like a freebie and stuff and i save everything even if i'm not i don't think that i'm going to use it right that second well on her free resource library she has a bunch of cash envelopes for sinking funds i told you guys we typically do our like sinking funds although i've never called them that they're just like savings accounts i usually just do them at the bank we have lots of accounts at many banks and it just that's the way that it's always worked for us for all these years probably more specifically since we've had children so just because there's been more to save for because prior to having children we never did back to school prior to having children we never had birthday parties and stuff that we had to really worry about it was just like basic things there was really nobody but adults to buy christmas stuff for you know just stuff like that so halloween halloween was never an issue before so andres and i sat down and we figured out we came up with a couple of extra categories so we've always done back to school and what i did was i just this is just a pdf i'm not going to share it with you guys because you have to have like they're her things and even though she provides them for free you have to have a password to get into her free resource library and um from that you have to have bought something from her shop or or something like that you buy a budget by paycheck workbook um product and she sends you the password so i'm not i'm just sharing this with you guys because you can totally make your own or find other resources and stuff like that that i'm just sharing with you how we're changing it up a little bit going from 100 percent like in banks having everything separated to adding a couple of extra sinking funds what are you doing dusting it while you're there yeah looking at the sensor for our alarm anyway um we've always had a back to school sinking fund it's just been in the account we've always had birthday sinking funds for the girls um my christmas one is over there but we've always had christmas what i did differently this time so we've always we've always done those back to school because that's such a expensive an expensive time for us like august to december is super expensive because we have back to school in august 
autumn in September, Maddie in October, Emmy in November, and now Everly in December, and then Christmas. So those four, those five months, yeah, that five month period is just super expensive. And usually it's like from us coming off of a vacation or something over the summer. So what I did a little differently, him and I came up with like, budgets and stuff for each of these categories and um, we're going to keep the back to school one and then i just use myself laminating little things with her cashless trackers again that i got free from her newsletters um that she sent out i just laminated them and stuck them on the back of this so that i can write on the back when i make a deposit each month so we kept back to school i'm doing all of the girls birthdays in this one and so this is going to be for all holidays 2021 because we already have the rest of the year figured out. So this is holidays 2021. I think that that's awesome. We always just kind of have a revolving like accounts that constantly get money put into them. And some of them get money taken out of them regularly. Some of them only come out once a year. I never really have thought about doing it this way. Never. I don't know why until I started watching the budget mom. So Halloween is a new one that we added and we're doing Halloween a little bit different. I'll kind of go into it after probably after Maddie's party because the so uh, Melissa and Chuby do not have the boys for Halloween. The other parent is going to have them and because of that Halloween it kind of stinks because Halloween's on a weekend this year and normally it would be like we stay out later trick or treat later that kind of stuff but um we we probably won't trick or treat to be honest i was thinking about leaving a bowl of candy outside the door uh, in the driveway or something for kids that are planning to trick or treat i don't think that we will i don't know i just think that that's like a whole lot of possible contamination all bless you for candy i just don't know so bless you is that bella was that bella Cincy? or lola whoever it was bless you Anyway, so my mom had this really great idea. Like I said, I'll go more into it in a month. It had to have been Bella, because Lola was right here. Um, to have a little like Halloween party, carnival or whatever for the kids. So I thought that that was such a cute idea. It has grown in <laughs> in how we're actually doing things over the last like couple of weeks so i think it's going to be super cute i think they're going to love it i can't wait to do that i have a couple errands that i want to run this weekend to try and get stuff we are going to do i think a family themed costume the girls are super excited about it they help us pick it out so i think everything's going to be super cute they're going to have such a fun time um but that has kind of made me come to the conclusion like I've never truly planned for Halloween and if you follow follow Miko's method her budget mom method she talks a lot about um cash flowing things so like I don't even know what she saves for she saves for a whole bunch of holidays but the holidays she does not save for she just cash flows it so she uses her checking account cushion or she uses I don't know stuff money she sells on Mercari or Facebook Marketplace. I don't even know. She just used money that she has extra in general. So I think that that's really what we've been done all these years except for their birthdays, back to school, and Christmas. And I don't want to do that anymore. I, I don't necessarily want to have every single holiday, like a sinking fund for every single holiday. Like I was telling on the desk, Valentine's Day, we don't always do a ton of stuff for the girls or for, for us. So We'll cash flow that one. Um, same thing with Easter, really. Easter doesn't usually cost us a lot. Usually it's like just Easter bunny baskets and stuff, not not a ton. And it usually comes from other people other than us. So we don't really, we can cash flow that one. And 4th of July, same thing. We usually just barbecue or whatever and pop a few fireworks. Nothing super crazy, we can cash flow it. We definitely have to think about back to school and Halloween is a good one. So I came up with uh, doing a Halloween one because that would be something good for us to cash flow. And I'm going, I mean, not cash flow, sinking fund. Again, something new. So we just kind of figure out, okay, what would we spend on each kid? And then we'll have a little bit in, you know, extra in general. And then we use that amount and divide it up over 
12 months. For instance, Halloween is gonna be $200. Is that what I, is that what we decided? 200, yeah. 200 divided by 12 is $17 a month. It's actually a little bit less than that, but $17 a month, you put $17 a month in the cash envelope or in a separate bank account or whatever, and you do it for the entire year. So next Halloween when it rolls around, you're not like, oh my gosh, I have to buy all four of my kids' costumes and we have to buy candy. And this particular year, like I said, we're doing um, family costumes and then we're also doing the little party. So that's just going to, I think $200 will cover it. And if we end up having extra, cool, we can roll it over to something else. So that's a new one this year for us. And then I have this one for my Hennepinny. And I didn't even think about myself, honestly. I put this on here and I was like, oh, like for, I put um, Father's Day and then his birthday's right around Father's Day. So we did birthday, Father's Day, and we set a, um, an amount, well, I set an amount on what I usually spend on him for Father's Day and for his birthday. And then we, he was like, well, then if we do me, we have to do you. I was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. So we have a Mother's Day one. Our anniversary is typically something that we don't always buy each other some a gift, but we usually do have like a date night or something for our anniversary. So same thing. We did 200 for that. And if we end up having extra or whatever, I think it'll be awesome. So we didn't do Thanksgiving. In our Christmas, we actually include... Um, Black, well, we typically haven't done Black Friday in our Christmas budget before because for Black Friday, we usually, like this past Black Friday, we buy a lot for Christmas and we very rarely buy much that is just for the house or for the kids or whatever in general. And usually it's for Christmas. So in the Christmas budget, we do Black Friday and that also includes New Year's Eve. So we'll kind of test that this year because again, normally we just cash flow New Year's Eve. Um, but over the last few years and the girls have gotten bigger and they enjoy fireworks and stuff more, New Year's Eve tends to be a little bit more on the expensive side because we host here. We usually buy alcohol, which we don't do normally throughout the year, um, not very often really, but we buy alcohol for New Year's and we buy fireworks and food. And so it usually be, is a little bit more expensive than other holidays that we're just kind of passing by. So that's the additions and I did all of that while we were watching the 100 and I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited to have these and to do something a little bit different than what I've done before. Um, I also think it'll be kind of cool to like go into it and actually have cash because I feel like with a card and if you use a card, it, you have to be very diligent about what you're spending and it's very easy just to say, oh, it's not a big deal. Just spend a little bit extra. I went a little over budget this month. Not a big deal. When we have cash, it's like that much harder to give up that 20 or that much harder to give up that $100 bill or whatever you have. So I'm hoping this will be a cool little experiment for the next year. I'm excited. At least, I don't know. If you guys follow the budget mom, you have any tips for um, things that you love doing from her that you found useful or whatever let me know in the comments below because I don't I actually found her through my best friend Bia and she stopped following her like she never did it she never followed through with the budget and so I was like eh, it's probably not for me we've always been doing our own thing for all these years and it's you know worked out well especially within the last few years we've really got things kind of snapped and under control and I just want to switch it up a little bit. I want to be a little bit tighter. I've told you guys, you know, my anybody's home and it just, especially going into these expensive months, holiday months and stuff like that, it's just nicer to be able to have a better rain on it, especially when you maybe don't have as much income. I know a lot of people has, have lost their jobs. A lot of people's hours have been cut because of COVID and stuff. And it's just nice to know that you have everything kind of reined in. You have that emergency fund. Um, you could live off of your savings if you needed to. Like I want to maintain where we're at and not six months from now been like, man, we could have done that totally different, you know? So anyway, I know I got a lot of comments saying that you guys appreciate seeing this side of me versus just like all is good and everything's fine. And 
that kind of stuff so i appreciate that thank you guys so much for the love and support and lately in the last few vlogs i um you know it's hard sometimes to come back from negativity and stuff like that but i feel like you guys are super awesome about being uplifting and i mean hundreds hundreds and hundreds of you that don't even normally comment come out of the woodworks and comment and like solidarity and stuff like that so i really really appreciate that i know this was a long one but i really wanted to share with you guys those sinking funds if you have found that you do this or dave ramsey or anything like that and you're like you need this sinking fund something maybe i didn't even think of because like i said we've made it for so many years with having basic things under control as far as specifically setting aside money for them back to school is a huge one and especially as each kid like next year we're gonna have three in uniforms and their uniforms are a lot more expensive than just a typical wearing regular clothes to school so i just feel like it takes some planning or else you're really going to find yourself in big debt big trouble when the time comes so if i'm missing something that you're like melissa you have to have it either leave me a comment or message me on instagram i love to talk budgets and stuff like that i'm not a pro i've never claimed to be a pro we've made lots of mistakes in our past but we've worked really hard to like i said rein everything in and get it under control probably within the last like what do you say, like three, four, three or four years, baby? It's been like solid. So we're just refining a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and we will see you tomorrow.